being rumored to be getting a new character, so we'll see what's going on there. We'll also check out what's going on with Roman Reigns, the Bloodline, and much more. Let's start things off with Riddle and what's being rumored there for him. So, for the majority of Matt Riddle's time in WWE, he's had the same sort of laid-back, easy-going sort of character and persona. The character has been a hit and has led him to lots of great success and great moments in his WWE career, such as his tag team run with Randy Orton and forming Team RKO. And Matt Riddle also had his fair share of moments where he did put his foot down and got more serious. But fans have always wondered if we'll see a permanent more serious side of Matt Riddle stick around. And we may be getting closer and closer to that possibility. There's some reports and rumors going around that Matt Riddle may be getting a new character change to be more serious. This rumor started from the April 14th edition of SmackDown. This edition of SmackDown saw Solo Sokoa and Matt Riddle finishing off what started between them several months ago. It was back in December where Solo Sokoa unleashed a brutal beatdown on Matt Riddle that kept him out of the ring for four entire months. So this was Riddle's shot to get back at Solo Sokoa. But as we all know, Matt Riddle's attempt was unsuccessful and he suffered a loss to Solo Sokoa. But similar to December, Solo Sokoa took things to the next level with Matt Riddle. Solo Sokoa followed up the victory over Riddle with another post-match beatdown on Matt Riddle. Solo topped the post-match beatdown off by burying Matt Riddle under the commentary table. Usually when someone gets buried under the commentary table in that fashion, it's usually followed up by that person missing some time from WWE television to sell the effect of the attack. But considering that Matt Riddle just came back after several months away, fans don't expect Riddle to be written off already again. But there are rumors and reports about what could be coming from Riddle being buried under that table. The rumor is that Solo's post-match attack on Matt Riddle could be leading towards a full eventual character change for Riddle. The change that's being rumored is that Matt Riddle could possibly drop everything from his old character and just be presented in a new complete light with a brand new serious persona and character. Like we mentioned before, the current version of Matt Riddle's character was a hit with the fans and was very popular. But like some fans have pointed out, if Matt Riddle is going to take that next leap and enter the main event scene, he could really benefit from a more serious character and persona. So a lot of fans are very interested in seeing what a new serious version of Riddle could look like and how his career could benefit from it. There's still no confirmed word if this is actually happening or not, but it's a big rumor that's been spreading like crazy. And it does have fans intrigued to see how it could turn out. So we'll have to wait and see if Matt Riddle could possibly go through a character change sometime during this current storyline with the Bloodline. Speaking of the Bloodline, some fans have started to become a bit more critical of the story's direction. There's plenty of fans saying that Raw and SmackDown have featured very similar endings over the last few weeks. The closing shots of these editions of Raw and SmackDown have always been ending with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens having a stare down with the Usos and Solo Sokoa after this same exact ending took place three times in a row across Raw and SmackDown. Fans started to voice their displeasures with the repetitiveness of this story. Fans also pointed out how it feels like Solo Sokoa has been in the main event for the last few editions of Raw and SmackDown against either Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, or Matt Riddle. And what the fans are pointing out here is technically true. Raw and SmackDown's main events over the last few weeks have solely focused on different versions and variants of Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Matt Riddle versus The Usos and Solo Sokoa. And fans appear to be reaching their breaking point overseeing the same similar endings to every single edition of Raw and SmackDown. So it's something that the fans have pointed out, and it'll be interesting to see if the theme continues. Will we continue to see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have their stare downs with the Bloodline at the end of every single show? Some fans are saying that WrestleMania was the perfect finale for Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Bloodline. 
So why is it still happening? Isn't it starting to drag? Well, yes and no. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens did have their big win at WrestleMania, but the Usos were the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. So you know that they deserve a rematch. So you gotta continue the story just for a little at least. And not to mention that Roman Reigns isn't really around right now, so it's pretty much the same issue since 2022. There's no world champion on either brand. That's the obvious biggest missing piece here. So the Undisputed Tag Team Titles feud is basically serving as the main event world title program on WWE television at the moment. And some fans just feel like that specific story between the Usos versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens has gone on for way too long at this point. Even Kevin Owens said it a few weeks back. He just wants to be done with the bloodline and move on. So for everyone that's kind of burnt out on this story, their rematch is just a few weeks away, and that should really signify the end to the entire Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and bloodline saga. Assuming Kevin and Sami retains against the Usos, they're likely to move on and face new and up-and-coming threats in the tag team division. While the Usos will likely continue their drama and tension with Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. Because if the Usos regain their titles, that's basically eliminating all that tension there between them and Roman Reigns right now. That's why it seems like the right move would be for the Usos to lose the title match, so that we can continue to really see how Roman is losing patience with them and continue to take that story to the next level. As Paul Heyman has hinted at several times on SmackDown over the last few weeks, it definitely seems like the Usos are nowhere near being on good terms with Roman Reigns right now. That's why dropping that tag team title match would really kick things off with this potential Civil War storyline within the Bloodline. So that appears to be the new story and direction that are coming up for both teams of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and the Usos. As far as the latest goes with Roman Reigns, it appears that his next scheduled title defense will be at Night of Champions on May 27th. This is also the same day that Roman Reigns will surpass 1,000 days as WWE Universal Champion. So as expected, it looks like it'll be smooth sailing and Roman Reigns will easily coast himself past that 1,000 day mark. And fans don't really expect it to end there. Fans feel like the next time Roman Reigns may actually face a huge challenge could be WrestleMania 40. So he may cruise all the way until WrestleMania season in 2024 as the Universal Champion. And if he does that, he'll officially be breaking some of the longest title reigns in WWE history. If Roman is still champion deep into WrestleMania 40 season, he will surpass Bruno's first title reign from the 70s of 1,237 days. He'll also likely pass Hulk Hogan's title reign from the 80s of 1,474 days. And it may seem absolutely insane, but fans are starting to wonder if Roman could even surpass Bruno's other title reign of 2,803 days. In order for Roman to break the number one longest title reign in WWE history, he will have to hold on to the Universal title deep into the springtime of 2028. So it sounds insane to discuss, but it's something that fans are starting to be curious about. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.